Hey, it's Andre here. Just a quick question. Why do you think we keep breaking things down into components? I mean, in the previous videos, we created this card list component that renders this div with something inside it, some children inside it. And then we broke that down even further to have cards that are being rendered. And you might be asking yourself, why exactly is that necessary? Why can't we just put everything in app.js and have just one big, well, JSX? Isn't that simpler than dividing everything into all these small components and so many files? Isn't that confusing? Before I answer that question, I do have a question for you and a little exercise. When do we break things down into components? Pause the video here and think about what the benefits are of breaking things down into smaller and smaller components instead of one big giant one. Ready for the answer? Remember this? When I told you that to be a great React developer, you have to do these three things really well. This touches on the first point, which is deciding on components. And if you remember our example, where we had this little website that we broke down into different components. Remember here and here and here. You can see over here that each part is a component. Now, the reason we would, let's say, if we had an app like this, we wouldn't want to code it all into one file, is that the benefit of React is in the idea of this component architecture that can be placed and used in multiple locations. So that means that when we do something like this, sure, we could have kept all the cards in here without creating a new card component. But now this is more flexible because this card list can now be passed different properties. For example, instead of the monsters, maybe we have fairy tale characters. And this card list component can be used on a different project or a different part of the app because it no longer cares what it prints out. I mean, sure, it can print out this card component, but maybe we have a fairy tale card component now that we can just inject into here instead of this card one. And by breaking things down, we're making things more flexible because each component does one thing and one thing really, really well so that it can be used in other places. The bigger a file gets, the more JSX we have, the more logic we have, the harder it gets to be used in another place. And this idea of breaking things down into small individual chunks is really, really important. And most good React projects break things down into a pretty small component file that the name pretty much tells it exactly what it does. Just one small and the other benefit that we will also encounter later on is that we also have this flexibility of performance improvements, potentially, as well as having components that are really easy to test because they're so simple. Now, those are topics that we'll uncover later on. But the key here is that the reason we break things down into smaller and smaller components is that we combine each component with its concern. And that concern is that this component is only concerned about card list. This component is only concerned about cards. Now, this is an idea that we're gonna explore throughout our course. So if you don't get it 100%, don't worry. We still have lots to cover. So let's keep going. 